Good afternoon. Happy Monday. So I just finished reading The Girl with the Deep Blue Eyes by Lawrence Block. I don't know if you saw my uh, weekly wrap up yet, but if you haven't, check that out because I definitely kind of alluded to the fact that I was about half done with this book and I finished it a little while ago. Boy, oh boy. Um, so this is a first for me in a couple different ways. Unfortunately, none of them are good. I've never read a book like this. I really haven't. Um, this is supposed to be hard case crime, crime noir. This was published in 2015 by Lawrence Block. At face value, this should be completely the book I love. And, it, you know, it's about this guy named uh, Dwack Miller. He's spent 24 years at the NYPD. He moves to this small little town in Florida where he operates as a PI and living off of his uh, NYPD pension. Does different jobs for the local police there kind of thing. You know, lives a pretty quiet life. Seems to be kind of a ladies' man. So this particular kind of, so why are we here, you know, is he's, you know, given this assignment where he basically, the local police is in, is fears that there's this uh, wife that's trying to set up her husband uh, to be murdered, and she's trying to hire a hitman, and they put kind of uh, Miller on the case and try to get him to wear a wire, and, you know, he meets the girl initially and then tries to set up this meeting and does he go through with it? Does he have feelings for, where does this go? And that's where kind of the, that's basically the, the premise of the book. I'd like to say, you know, well, if you don't want spoilers, turn it off, but there, I'm not really going to spoil it because this is going to be a pretty quick and devastating review. I mean, as I said earlier in my wrap up, I mean, I haven't read a book like this in, in the sense that, this contained story is so strongly, strongly sexual in content. And I'm just shocked by it. I'm honestly, I mean, I knew Block wrote uh, Erotica when he first started under different pen names. You know, so, okay, fine. You know, that's not my, that's not my cup of tea. I mean, to say I was blushing through this book, I mean, definitely is an understatement. I mean, there was parts in here, it was just, it just so unnecessary, especially some of the parts really where you're learning about the plot moving forward and you're getting some introspective takes on the character, you know, the main character and the antagonist, the protagonist, and they're doing it in a, in a, in a, in, a, in the middle, you know, it's just, it's just over the top. Like it degrades from any enjoyment in what crime story we have here to the point where it just overshadows it. And the only thing I can say is this was a quick read. Obviously, you know, I was half done this morning and I finished it. I That's all I can say that it's positive about this book is, you know, I, I actually, you know, did a little research and looked at, you know, some what some, what some of the people thought about this. And I'm actually kind of shocked, like, you know, I went on YouTube to see if there's any other YouTubers that, are, that talk about this book. And, you know, they go in and they read the, the excerpt from the cover. And then they're like, yeah, and it's it's pretty heavily, you know, has some strong sexual scenes, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that is an understatement. Maybe it's me. I mean, I never read Fifty Shades of Grey, nor do I have a, a need, a want to. But I, it's just, wow. I mean, wow. I was really shocked. I, I just, it's, it's, it, I... Every now and then to have, you know, a reference, a sexual reference, I mean, it's shocking enough. It just, the re it was so repetitive and it was so unnecessary. I mean, it doesn't bother me per se to hear people talk like that. I don't preferably like it in a book, but it, I, I've had other books make innuendos or guys are talking to guys about some, you know, I understand it in the context of it. Like this was, Wow. But anyways, I digress. This was the first two that I've ever rated on the on this channel. I give this a two. I mean, that's probably being generous. I mean, I like Block. The one thing I can say is it's concise. I mean, that that's the only positive because I, I could honestly I couldn't wait to get done with it. To be honest with you, I, I hate 
DNFing. I'm not a big fan of DNFing books. I was close. I mean, and then, I, I don't know. It, <laughs> I was close to several occasions just to be like, no, this isn't for me and kind of thing. But anyways, that's a review. Uh, Lawrence Block, The Girl with the Deep Blue Eyes, 2.0. I do not recommend this book unless you're kind of, you, you like reading that kind of thing. But yeah, that's a review. Wow, I'm just disappointed, I, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, it's Monday. There's other books on the book week. I'm happy about those. I'm excited about those. I've got some other video content that's on the going to be coming. So I'm excited about that. So hope you're having a great start to your week. Uh, I look forward to talking to you guys later. Bye.